Well, in Top Topic, we take a look at one of the stories making headlines here in China over the past 24 hours. And today's topic deals with a woman who was forced to have an abortion seven months into her pregnancy. Now, the report tells the story of Feng Jianmei, a 23-year-old who gave birth to a girl in 2007. When she found out that she was pregnant again earlier this year, local officials detained her and threatened her to the extent that she finally agreed to have an abortion because she violated the country's one-child policy. Fung agreed to undergo induced labor on June 2nd, according to a statement that was published on the Jinping Family Planning Commission's website. However, the province's Population and Family Planning Bureau said that women whose pregnancies go past six months are banned from induced labor. If the allegations are proved to be true, the involved officials will be punished. Now, couples are allowed to have a second child under certain conditions, such as both spouses being from single-child families or their first child having a non-inherited disease. However, Fung did not qualify for those conditions. According to online posts, Fung was detained for three days and more than 30 officials threatened her to force her to abort her child. Now, she said that the threats were so serious that she felt extreme pressure and even tried to kill herself. On the fourth day, she was taken to the county hospital without being accompanied by her relatives. Local officials were said to ask her husband, 30-year-old Dong Ji Yuan, to hand over 40,000 renminbi as a deposit for the surgery. However, before Dong's arrival, hospital staff coerced the mother-to-be to sign and put her fingerprint on the operation agreement. Fung was injected in the abdomen, which caused her baby to die of hypoxia and then underwent induced labor. The pictures posted along with the post showed that the bloody infant's body, which had developed well and grown mature, was placed on a hospital bed near Fung, who stared at the ceiling with dull, lifeless eyes. Fung said that she was overwhelmed by the experience and basically just laid around all day, adding that she had smashed the hospital windows on June 5th. The posts have since created widespread outrage. One poster, who has only been identified as Wu Bu Shi Fei Jie, said that violating the birth control policy is wrong, but local officials didn't need to take these kinds of measures in order to stop her. Their atrocity is just the same as murder. Well, we actually took a poll asking people what they thought about this uh, story as well. And a lot of people seem to have a lot of things to say. Um, an overwhelming majority of the people uh, seem to be against this with 50